what's up everybody? This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. So today I want to kind of help frame um, the question to an answer that I see a lot. Um, so if you didn't know, you can go to our website and you can kind of contact us through there. There's a little place to fill out a form and submit that um, and ask questions. And a question that I often see come through is from people that are looking at a few different guitars, but most notably in the Martin line, um, and it happens through some other companies too, you're kind of comparing kind of a, a lower price version with a mid-tier version with a high-end version and um, trying to determine which one you should get. And so I want to kind of help answer that a little bit for you um, because there's not a definitive answer. Like a lot of things, it really just depends. But I do want to help frame what happens as you move up in price with three very specific guitars that are rather similar to one another. Um, and those would be a, an X-Series guitar from Martin, a Road Series guitar from Martin, and a 15 Series, which is what we're using to represent the American-made Martins, because that's about the most affordable American-made Martin guitar that you can buy. And rather than dive in with like all of the, the small little specs, I really kind of want to give you an overview of what matters between them. So the first one that we have here is this, and this is the, uh, the only X-Series we still had left in stock that was as close to these other two that I'm going to talk about. So this is a GPCX2 um, uh, AE version. So it's an acoustic electric grand performance body, uh, which is kind of a, an auditorium sized body with a cutaway. Um, from Martin Guitars. This one has uh, HPL, which is high pressure laminate, Macassar ebony back and sides in the satin finish. Uh, the top is Sapele. Um, and it's, you know, it's a Martin guitar. <laughs> We're not going to go through all of the, the uniqueness here. The X series is basically has very similar specs between them, where uh, you're using. Uh, man-made materials for the bridge and for the fingerboard. It's a composite neck. It's a uh, high pressure laminate back and side. So these are not veneers. It's basically a silk screened, uh, very robust, hard, long lasting back and sides. Um, the top is solid. You can get it with uh, Sapele like this one. Some models come with spruce. Um, and then there's scallop bracing on the inside. Uh, most of the models come with a pickup. It's a Fishman Sonotone pickup with controls in the sound hole. Um, and there you have it. So there's a few different flavors in the X-Series, but they all generally, by and large, follow that recipe, depending upon what the top is and the body shape and so forth. So that's what you're getting from the X-Series. Now, this one is going for about $699. Um, and it's, like I said, it's got really robust um, construction. So the HPL uh, is pretty long-lasting. Can it break? It can. It's not composite or carbon fiber or anything like that, but it's very long wearing. It's very difficult to scratch. It's very difficult to break, um, but it, it's there to serve as the structure of the guitar and kind of be a rough and tumble guitar. You know, you can take this camping. Uh, you can give this to someone who's going to, you know, gig with it on a regular basis. Uh, or if, if you've got a teenager and you're looking to buy a guitar, good choice, okay? Um, and it sounds good. Sounds like a Martin. We'll, we'll play through all these and demonstrate them, uh, but it's a good option to kind of start in, it's really where the full size Martin guitar start is the X series, okay? Now, the next one up is the option that a lot of people are usually contending with. So, this is a road series. Uh, this is the Triple R, Triple O R S one. And the road series, we've talked about on this channel, the road series I think is one of the best values, not just in Martin guitars lineup, it is one of the best values in acoustic guitars, period. This guitar is $799 still? Yeah, $759 actually. So $759, you get a Martin guitar, it's built down in their plant in Mexico, that features all solid wood construction with a pickup, with a case. Okay, so we were just looking at an X series with a cutaway and electronics, no case, no bag, $699. For about 50 bucks more, Built in the same factory, you can move up to an all solid wood guitar from Martin. Now there's no cutaway on this, okay, but it does have the same electronics, controls right here in the sound hole, with a case, and again, all solid wood construction. I think that is a very compelling option, okay? The fact that this is solid top, back, and sides does a lot for its resonance, its sound, and the life of the guitar, it's gonna sound better and better and better. Um, 
So other than that, still man-made materials on the fingerboard and on the bridge, um, and it has a great sound. It's also lighter than the previous one. Now part of that's because it's all solid wood that's lighter than the laminate, and the neck is a solid piece of wood. It's not laminate um, like the Stratabond necks that's used on the X-Series. The X-Series is not a bad guitar, and it serves a very particular purchase per, or purpose, particularly if you're looking to purchase a guitar that will really hold up to the rigors of gigging or, or, or camping or whatnot. Uh, or you want a cutaway, right? To get a cutaway in this, you move up in price to above $1,000 or so. so. But for $7.59, you get a lighter, more resonant, all solid wood instrument from Martin Guitars. So where would you go from here? Well, let me muddy the waters just a little bit more. And presto change it. Wah, wah, wah. So th <laughs> this looks very similar. It's not the same guitar. This is a Triple O 15M. So this is a 15 series, not part of the standard series. It's, it's just kind of below that, along with the 16 and 17 series uh, in Martin's American made lineup. But this is built in the Nazareth PA factory. It's again, all solid wood construction. It's mahogany instead of sapele this time. Um, and it features uh, ebony fingerboards, or, or is it rosewood in this case? Um, fingerboard bridge, hardwood neck, no laminate construction, no pickup, you do get a case. So you also get open digger tuners, all these other specs that we could talk about. Those are all on our website, okay? Don't get lost in the specs. Let me give you the overview of why you'd want these. The X-Series, whether it's the Qatar we just looked at or the lower price ones, anything in that series, they have triple O bodies, they have dreadnought bodies, they have stuff with cutaways, without cutaways. Those represent the starting point. If you want a Martin guitar, and all you can really get is an X-Series, but you love the way it feels, you love the way it sounds, you love the way it looks, that's great. Then you should do that. If you can stretch a little bit more to go to the Road Series, I think that's a better value. We just looked at the guitars that are only separated by about 50 bucks. And I think the Road Series is a better value. Now, if you need, a, like I said, a cutaway, or you wanna move up to the GP body, it's gonna cost you more money, but it's still, I think, a very good value for something that is all solid wood and made by Martin with that Martin sound and that Martin feel. But then you get to this guy, $12.99, $12.99. Now, at this point, we're almost twice the price of the first guitar, but you could argue that this is twice the guitar. It is even lighter than the Road Series, which was lighter than the X Series. So what we're getting in is two lighter, more resonant build guitars. I think it sounds better. I can tell you it feels better. Um, and, and those are the options. So which one you should pick is the one that is right for you. I'm not going to say that the X Series is a bad guitar, but I will tell you that this is a better guitar. So if you can afford this, you should get it. If you can afford the Road Series but not this, you should get the Road Series. And if you want a Martin but you can't afford either and you're in love with the X-Series, then you should get that. So they're all really, really great guitars. That's what separates them. I hope that made sense. But now I want you to put your ears on and listen and see if you can hear the differences between them. Because other than feel, the way they sound is the only other real important thing. So check it out.
So hopefully that's helpful. You know, again, I wanted to do this video because we get questions like this a lot. And this could apply to a lot of things. This could apply to electric guitars. Which strat should I get? Lots of other brands. Um, but, you know, we did a video not too long ago that's been somewhat controversial where we compared a Gibson SG200 or SJ200 uh, with an Epiphone. And uh, some people felt I didn't like the Epiphone. I, that's not true. I like the Epiphone. But just because the Epiphone looks like the J200 doesn't mean it sounds or plays like the J200. And that's somewhat the point here. The Road Series looks like this guitar and it's a really, really compelling value. This is still a better guitar. That doesn't make that a bad guitar. And it's, they're really close. Uh, quality-wise and further apart price-wise. So, you know, these are questions that we hope to help you answer in your buying decisions when you're trying to get yourself a new guitar. So, hopefully you can hear the differences. Uh, you can certainly feel the differences if you ever get a chance to play these and compare them. If you've been looking for these guitars or something else like this, you have questions like this, give us a call, come into one of our locations, or message us online, we'll be glad to chat with you and help you find the right guitar or instrument to meet your needs. Um, hey, thanks for watching these videos. Subscribe, turn on your notifications. Um, we put these out for you guys, so comment below, tell us what you think. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.